Exodus 15 and verse 26 If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them, and quite break down their images. And you shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. They shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Deuteronomy 7 verse 14 to verse 15 Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you, or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which you know upon you, but will lay them upon all them that hate you. Psalm 103 verse 2 to verse 5 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowns thee with loving kindness and the tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 107 and verse 20 He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Proverbs 4 verse 20 to verse 22 My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Isaiah 33 and verse 24 And the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Isaiah 53 and verse 5 But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Malachi 4 and verse 2 but unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Matthew 4 verse 23 to verse 24 And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. Matthew 8 from verse 1 to verse 3 When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Matthew 8, verse 14 to verse 17. And when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto them. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word, and he healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying himself to our infirmities, and bore our sicknesses. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Romans 8 and verse 11 But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, then he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Philippians 2 verse 25 to verse 28 Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor, and a fellow soldier but your messenger, and he that ministered to my wants, for he longed after you all, and was full of heaviness, because that you had heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was sick nigh unto death. 
but God had mercy on him and not on him only but on me also lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow I sent him therefore the more carefully that when you see him again you may rejoice and that I may be a little less sorrowful he among you afflicted let him pray is any merry let him sing psalms is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if you have committed sins they shall be forgiven him confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much first Peter 2 and verse 24 who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed first John 3 and verse 8 for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil third John verse 2 beloved I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth because I diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord my God and do that which is right in his sight and give ear to all his commandments and keep all his statutes he puts none of those diseases upon me which he brought upon the Egyptians for he is the Lord who heals me I do not bow down to their gods nor serve them nor do after their works but I utterly overthrow them and quite break down their images and I serve the Lord my God and he blesses my bread and my water and he will take sickness away from the midst of me nothing shall cast their young nor be barren in my land the number of my days he fulfills I am blessed above all people there is neither male nor female barren among me or among my cattle and the Lord takes away from me all sickness and puts none of the evil diseases of Egypt which I know upon me but will lay them upon all those who hate me bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all my iniquities who heals all my diseases who redeems my life from destruction who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies my mouth with good things so that my youth is renewed like the eagles he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions I pay attention to God's words I incline my ears unto his sayings I do not let them depart from my eyes I keep them in the midst of mine heart for their life unto me because I found them and have become medicine to all my flesh I shall not say I am sick because I dwell in the land and God has forgiven me my sins he was wounded for my transgressions he was bruised for my iniquities the chastisement of my peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed I fear his name and the son of righteous arises with healing in his wings and I go forth and grow up as calves of the stall himself took my infirmities and bore my diseases the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in me he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also give life to my mortal body by a spirit that dwells in me when I'm sick I call for the elders of the church and they pray over me and anoint me with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save me if I'm sick and the Lord shall raise me up if I've committed sins they shall be forgiven me for this purpose was the Son of God manifest that he might destroy all the works of the devil in my life Jesus his own self bear my sins in his own body on the tree that I being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes I have been healed.